Welcome everyone to another Minecraft video. So, if you've seen the last episode, you'd have seen that we finally defeated the Wither. And so, essentially, what I'm going to be doing now is constructing a beacon. Now, not just any beacon. I'm going to try to already max up, uh, max out the beacon, and uh, do some digging. So you can see here, I have an efficiency five pickaxe. And uh, basically, if you put in a beacon with haste two, oh what? Oh man, what a failure! Uh, if you put a beacon with haste 2 and you have an efficiency 5 pickaxe, you can instantly mine stone. So what I'm going to do is, for the first part of this episode, just um, uh, basically make the beacon. And second part of the episode, I'm going to just hu like mine out a huge area down underground. Just because, um, many reasons, but essentially I just want, uh, I want uh, gold so I can uh, oh, sort out my uh, villages. Now, village thing, we'll do that in a separate video afterwards. Now, obviously, for the beacon, you need um, a base with those blocks, and they can be either, let me just check, uh, iron, gold, diamond, or emerald. Now, diamond didn't have much off, not even enough for one block. Emerald, I have a little bit more, but I do want um, my emeralds for trading. Gold, I just want for golden apples, which leaves us with iron. Now, obviously, I have an iron farm here. Let's see how much iron I have. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Um, but I just I actually need more wood for a crafting table. So, yeah. Now, from what I've heard, I need, from the wiki, it says I need, um, uh, what is it? Two, two stacks of fine blocks, or whatever blocks, and then um, 36 extra. Now, I hope that, I mean, that is actually a fair bit, but I hope I do actually have enough to make uh, that otherwise I need to mine a little bit or wait a bit more but I, mean, I should have enough so first let me make up my crafting table let me put that in here let me take out some iron I say some now can I actually make this faster in this thing let's see let me let me just uh, can I right, yes there we go haha Okay, that's two stacks. Now I then need 36, so, oh yeah, I have, I have enough. Can I make actually full on another stack? Oh yes, no, not yet, not, not yet, but like, okay. So, I quite quickly actually finished, um, like, building the base for my beacon. So usually that will take a lot of mining, a lot of effort, but that was done quite easily. Now, what do I want to do now? I want to find an area where I can just mine out in peace a whole large chunk. So, like I said, the beacon essentially means that if you put it on haste 2 in the final level, you can uh, mine with efficiency 5 down pickaxe. You can mine... What's it, where's my... Soul, oh, soul sands back there. You can mine uh, stone blocks like this just instantaneously. So um, I'll do that. Now soul sand, I will need for um, a uh, water elevator. Now you'll see the whole construction once I actually start doing it. Okay, I also need my shovel, my axe. My shovel is efficiency three, but I do have efficiency four books and five books actually. And I'll have efficiency five axe, which I will need to put mending on. And that mending, I mean, I don't know, it can be tough using mending. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find a nice area for me to mine, that one I haven't been to before, and I will see you then. Okay, so I believe I found a nice area for me to uh, start digging down. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to make a hole around about here. This will be my water elevator up. Now, actually I might want to go slightly close to my house, actually, now I've realised. Because I just have to go through an entire mountain to get, oh, that's quite cool to go to the entire mountain to get to where okay now I'm good to get to where like I am now and I do want to be slightly close to my house so I can quickly um, put resources away so actually uh, let me just uh, go back a little bit Let's just backtrack a, tra uh, a little bit oh, you can probably hear my keyboard squeaking as well uh, I need to get a new one. Ow! Okay. Okay, there's my village. Okay, you know what? I'll just make it um, in here. Ooh, 
That's so cool. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, let's just, I'll just take a hole down here. That should be far enough that I, I wouldn't have visited any cave systems that I already have been to. But also close enough that it, it's not too difficult to get um, back to my chest. So what I'm going to do now, quite simply, is uh, dig down. Which I know people say oh, I never dig down. Um, but, you know, I should be fine. Hopefully I have water, I have uh, everything I need. So let me just dig down. I'm going to dig down to around about, I'd say, let's say 12. Because I can sort out any obsidian, any lava with my water and my good pickaxe. Which isn't the pickaxe, it's a bad one. So, I am now currently, uh, what, are you serious? Mineshaft? And that's one I've already been to as well. Okay, whatever. What level am I at? 22, not good enough. Let's see, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, and 12. Good. I'm going to go to 11. I'm going to now place a soul sand here. Now, hopefully this will work. It's water elevator. If not, I'll just have to research it a bit more. And now I'm just going to dig up. Now digging up, I do have a technique because obviously, if uh, if some uh, what do you call it gravel, or, well it's only gravel really. Sand doesn't really matter, but some well sand doesn't really appear. But some gravel appears, and whilst you're digging up, then that can be really um, quite bad for you. Why is he carrying gunpowder? That's confusing. Um, so that's why I place a torch down there. Essentially what that means is the gravel, as soon as it falls to it, oh whoa, man, come on, man, just calm it down. Uh, as soon as the gravel falls to where the torches will just break and you won't die from suffocation. Are you serious? Okay. So let me just do that. And so essentially what I should have um, once I've finished is a, um, oh, I did put a torch down there, is three different um, tunnels, not tunnels, holes. So one for the water elevator, one for the beacon light, and one for me if I just want to drop down or just have, you know, a amount of like, water there so I don't take any fall damage. Uh, so that's quite cool. And essentially what I will do after that is I think I'll just do um, like a sped up version of me just mining out an entire area. Now the reason for this is, first of all, fun. Um, it's quite cool shows how much I've progressed um, in this series from finding it difficult to mine just being able to just you know easily mine out a huge area and secondly um, I need gold and for what? obviously for more uh, villages, special villages with good trading benefits now the reason for that, there's one village in particular I'm looking out for um, I already have him but I don't have him zombified and turned back again but um, oh zombie villager Talking of which, um, but what was I talking about? Oh yes, so I don't have him zombified yet. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. Like you can't surprise me. Ah, which one is that? It's just a normal. I'm into it. So okay. Um, that's my water elevator. Let me just put it down. Now the plan is hopefully that this water elevator will work. If not, then oh come on. You know, I'm just going to go to sleep. So hopefully the water elevator works. Okay, one second, I'm lost. Oh, I don't want to go west, I want to go east, don't I? No. Uh, it is east, yeah. Oh, calm down. Ouch. Uh, so essentially what that means is... Well, what was I going to say again? Oh yeah, so I get gold for zombie find, uh, making golden apples. And then one villager also hopefully will sell me apples. And then I can just get apples from him, gold, and then get some good villager trades. Now, actually, on my way back, I will show you. Actually, no, I can't because they're sleeping. But I was going to show you the villages that I have, um, like, say, taken down here into my secret chamber. And, uh, you know, some of them have good trades. Some of them a little bit more, um, a little bit, nah. One of them has particularly disappointed me, but uh, we don't talk about him. He's still alive because I spent a golden apple, which I basically don't have. Oh no, now you see that I've recorded this episode after the other episode. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. 
Let me just go back there. You can see my iron farm is still working, um, which is good. I need water. And let me see. I still have a fair bit of iron. Well, I have loads of iron. Oh, yeah, of course, I didn't even set up my beacon. I was thinking, why do I have so much iron? But I didn't set up the beacon, silly me. So, hopefully, I haven't lost where the hole is. Obviously, once I set down the beacon, it'll be quite obvious where my mining area is. Because there'll be a huge light on the sky up on that. Actually, wait. I just had an idea. Oh, my God. This is what happens when you're too smart and you think whilst you talk. I'm pretty sure water is counted as transparent block, so I can just put. Um, that's not it, is it? So I can just put water down. So I don't need three holes. I just need. Hmm. Okay, I remember the chicken. So it's around about here. Nice right, says experience, and here we go. Now, hopefully, the water elevator works. I should just not fall down. doesn't work. One second, let me just look into how you actually make a water elevator and then I'll come back. Okay, so it turns out what I need to do is I actually need to put the water source down at every single level. So I will actually need to do that. Now let me just, uh, also I need to make like a door or something like that. So uh, luckily, you know, I do need to make a crafting table down here anyway. Oh dear, I'm drowning. Help, help, help. You know, I'll just this here, make a table quickly, uh, not a table, a door quickly, okay, made the three, now I can enter my elevator with no mess and no fuss, good, now what I'll do now is I'll actually uh, go all the way back up, block that water, then I need to, oh man, that will be very annoying, I need to then get enough water to actually, uh, tunnel all the way up here. That'll be fun. Uh, see you when I do that. Okay, so finally my uh, uh, elevator is complete. There's of course an annoying set in here. Well, she should die, I think. Uh, you as well. Oh, they both have enchanted those. How cool. So that works. You can see it works because I can't go down it at all. Uh, and now all we need to do is just uh, set up the beacon and also the um, Actually, I might need to set up another hole for the water, which I will drop down onto, so then I don't die. Oh, haha, I scared you. So, let's see. So, this is my entrance to the elevator. This is a hole here where I... Shall I put down a beacon here? Okay. I might set up my... Oh, my beacon's up there. Oh, my God. Okay. So, I might set down my beacon here. Actually, no. You know what I'll do? I'll actually make a separate hole for the beacon. A couple go. That's quite cool. Cool, okay. So let me do this quickly. So then um, I'm not rudely interrupted. Okay, and let me just put down any uh, water buckets. Okay, oh, I've got um, a nice uh, how to bow. So. I might just make a separate hole down here. Are you serious? I wasn't. Oh, a third one with the enchanted bow. Look at how lucky I am. This you also have it? Uh, okay. You know what? I can't be bothered to do lots. Like, just buy. Follow me down here. I dare you. Okay, I think they're fighting now. Um, So this will be the beacon hole, hopefully. And this is basically where the beacon light will shine all the way up. Because the beacon light has to go through the sky in order to um, uh, actually, well, work. So let's do that quickly. I have all of the iron. Yes, I do. In fact, I have more than all of the iron. Oh, sorry, all of the iron necessary. So let's just go down. Okay. We should be nearly at the right height for... Um, uh, yeah, is that the... Yeah, this is the thing. I don't know what thing it is, but okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the beacon here. Then I'm going to dig out a three by three. One, two, three, two, two, one. 
okay and then i'm going to dig out a five by five so one two three four i don't think i'm five here so one two three four five yeah okay two three four and five this isn't um necessarily the way i would recommend you to dig out the beacon but you know it works one two three four and five two three four and five okay so i'm going to do now i'm just going to finish doing the beacon and i'll get back to you when i am done wait was it five no it's it's less than five okay anyway see you then finally set up to uh, the four levels for the beacon so let's see Yep, good, good. So if I do this, this, then this, this, this. Wait, how does this work? Oh my god, there's so many things to think about. Okay, so that is my... Wait, one second. What is this? Wait, no, what about my... Where did my door go? Oh dear. And I can't make the door, okay. I will have to uh, enter in. Let me just block off this. One, two, three. And zoom up here. There we go. Okay. So, as you can see, the beacon is working. And it's working perfectly. Let me just get some wood. I know you're here, man. Well, okay. He's gone. I think I don't want to fall through here, so I might get some glass or something. Uh... Obviously, falling through there will be a very quick death. Uh, let me take this off. Okay. Hopefully, there's water still. Oh, there is water still. Good, good, good. Okay. My doors are uh, have gone, so I'm going to set up a crafting table here, and I'm going to uh, make a door to this area to my uh, elevator. You can hear the beacon as well going on in the background very cool um okay can we also access the beacon okay uh let me just put, drop this oh i can't drop it one lower actually i can if i take a bucket if I do this and then this okay so the beacon let's see so obviously i want haste and i want haste too can i okay so now I should have haste 2. And now, if I go back up, I should be able to, if I take my super pick, there's only been a super pick, but if I take my pickaxe, I should be able to now instantly mine stone. Okay, one second, the doorbell's ringing. Okay, so I've finally finished setting up my beacon and it works. Look, oh, that's fast, that's fast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to excavate a whole area, I've set up some chests, and I'm going to try and time lapse it. I don't know whether I can actually edit that in, but I should be able to. And I'll uh, see you then.
Okay, so as you can see, I'm on now to a fair bit. Not in a systematic way or anything. Um, but it really is um, taking out the durability of my pickaxe, which is something that I thought, you know, hopefully with all the coal and the redstone, etc. That is really... Um, hopefully the mending should kick in and I should be fine, but you know, even after smelting, even after everything, you can still see it's obviously affecting the pickaxe. So, I mean, it's quite cool anyway. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully next time we can uh, start doing other things, you know, preparing for the end game. And hope to see you.